different because the kitchen rules previously had been on a separate sheet. Yeah. And now they were in the end. That's fine. Um, but my the concern that I said to the board was not just this policy, but on any of these, um, we really feel like we have an ownership interest in these. You know, we don't have to say, but we take pride in what we're doing and we feel that it reflects on what we done or not. Even though they're signed by the way they didn't go up that way. So, I believe we were in the assumption that if there were any final changes, we would be advised of that before it got signed and put up the press. Yeah, the so, that we would have an opportunity. If we felt so, we should, um, I mean, we really pay very close attention to what we're doing. We really do, and you know, what's fair, what would be more effective, and so forth. And we just kind of thought that um, it represents us. And that um, if we give the final to the town and there are changes made, that, and, and we totally understand what the field says the final say, but that we have the right to discuss why we may have done something. Because you may, you guys may not give thought to how that process. And if after hearing that, you say, no, we still want it to be this way, so we, but we, you know, just as a matter of respect for the time, and I think we all feel the same, you know what I mean? Yep. That, um, you know, we should, we should at least be able to review the changes that they made before it goes public. Okay, and we did talk about that support, and I think that there was what, um, I hope was expression in here was that it essentially was a difference in paradigm, that our board was looking at the policy committee as a, group of people that we understood were putting a lot of time and effort and detail work to be something that needed that time and effort and detail work because our board wasn't and a committee that was inconsistent, whereas our board is not. Our board rotates and changes and so forth. Um, and that if there that the, what was coming to us was we all understood to be a either fully complete or a mostly complete item and that but because the board is the one that's signing on it, if there are changes that need to happen within it, then that was certainly within our purview to do. Um, and so, and the step, the step I was looking at, and here's the paradigm difference is, is that if I was sitting on this debate, I, I think I would feel like I've already done my work. I've given you what I think is the best thing. And if you guys want to change it, fine. I don't have to revamp and redo. I, I, I think it would be rude of me to come and say, we actually like to see this, this, and this. Can you do that for us? Like once you've already spent a lot of time and effort on the policy. So that's kind of I think where the paradigm. That, from my perspective, because the, the change that we did on the um, town hall use policy—that's one that drops kind of the mm -hmm. Those seemed like very cosmetic changes. They didn't seem to be substantive changes to any extent, and so it would have seemed odd to come back and say, "We're going to—you know—we feel that this should look like this instead." Um, but we heard that Judith going to do it. Was a lot of people before, and so I believe the, the system now is that you email a final policy to Jen, who then, we, then she brings it to our board and we take a look at it. And if there are substantive changes that we would like to see take place, then I will come to one of your meetings and sit with you and explain to you what we think, what we, find out from you guys what the thought was in the parts that we want to change and let you know what our thoughts are. Um, if they are not substantive changes, if they are just like kind of just reformatting changes or things that don't seem substantive to us, and there's small one word or two words here, then we will email those to you to Virginia before we, after our first reading. So we do a first reading at the meeting, okay? We'll email the changes to Virginia, and then prior to us having our second reading and signing the policy, your committee will have a chance to see what is coming down, like that we deem to be non-substantive. Maybe we just copy everybody. Whenever you send me, I always share. I just turn around and fold it. So, okay. Um, it's just that set. Okay. Yeah, because <clears throat> I'm okay. not gonna necessarily say yes or no um, without consulting out for the same reasons that you right. talk to you guys. I know you find them small cosmetic or non-substantive changing, but you don't know the discussions that we have on just 
Condensation. Yeah, condens the word that. I do understand. Okay, I, I do. I fully understand. And it's from that perspective that, like, by the time that we got done with an article and it had taken us two or three months for each of those zoning articles to get through and work on each of those words, I did. I honestly didn't want to hear if somebody wanted to change this or that. I just like the substance was there. The hacking had happened. The intent was intact. And if, it, if it, so that's where I'm coming from. But if you have a different approach to that, I can respect that. Um, but by looking at the town hall use policy as an example, the, the reformatting that we did, we just decided that we didn't need to have, it was convenient to have a document that they were signing that had all of the rules on the same page that they were signing so that they couldn't say, oh, we didn't read that page. But, but they're not going to sign the policy. Out, right. <laughs> they're not going to sign the policy. This is the policy, right? That's where we got confused. Is, is this the policy or is this the contract that needs to be signed? So what's going to happen is this. So we took out our signatures because they don't need to see our signatures. But okay. you have to sign up on the policy. And we did. And we didn't mess with it for the signing of our slot signing. But then for the reformatting that we did for what people are going to see. So, okay. okay. So when you come into the town hall, you use the town hall. You're going to see this front and back. Only instead of our signatures, is going to be the signature line and contact for the purpose. Right. Okay. So that was one of the changes that I thought that's what we had kind of discussed on Thursday. Um, but the policy that we signed looks very much like this. The kitchen rules is, I think, the one that was the biggest changes that took place were in the kitchen rules. That's that's right there. That's on the right. policy as well. Right. And um, whereas where before it was um, an attachment and exhibit, right, to the policy, right. So we 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 folded it in, and um, and that was the kitchen rules changes were substantive. And now that we understand everyone's feelings and thoughts on the matter, that sort of thing would trigger me coming to you and saying, okay, the kitchen rules that were in our first reading, when Lorraine and I read them, we said, wait, that will work for this right here, and here's why we feel that way. And these are the things that we'd like to see changed for the And the general rules, you know, that the respect that a human word was on turning off the lights, turning down the heat, and you said each, at the end of each day, was this an event? Now, none of us knew until I talked to the board, and several of you said to me, there's almost never a time when there's a two day event here. So you could have two or three events in one day, so they would shut off lights at the end of each event rather than saying at the end of each day. Because if, if somebody's here in the morning and then nobody's here the rest of the day, then they'll turn it down so you can kind of leave. And so that's the event. So you're saying that. So because there's not a multiple day event, it didn't make sense to use the words each day. And that was Lorraine's suggestion. Lorraine, you know, we didn't. Right, right, didn't know. Right. And that's fine. Like, I wouldn't have thought of that either. But what if like, there is, a, it is a, uh, a debate that would they still have the same thing and would someone interpret it to say, oh, we don't have to shut off the lights on the heat? You'll just tell them. And I think that most people would just, from being a human being, would, would just know it. You know, we hope. Yeah, you would hope. We always so, hope. We <laughs> hope. The only, no, the only, over, the only multiple day event I think they had been occurred in the building since I've been here was the girls' time kind of sleepover. But they would have left the heat on exactly. the back. They were sleeping <laughs> over. So um, that's the only thing I can believe that they're talking. So we do have the lights for breakfast. Um, we'll plug that to the TV for Saturday month. Um, and that ends at 10 a.m. But very often on a Saturday, you'll have a baby shower or a birthday party or a bride, you know, bride shower in the afternoon or evening on a Saturday evening. And so you don't want to keep the lights on for 10 a.m. to 5. So, so Lorraine caught that. She's like, oh, no, that should be right. And I think that um, because the policy committee is a new thing, okay, we are used to, it was in the town hall, it's such a small group of us. 
we are, if I write up something, like I, I do a lot of the writing for our work. Okay? So if I write up a well town report letter, for instance, I write that up and I pass it out to everybody in the town offices and I say, can you just read this quickly, make any comments? And they, they read it, they make their comments, they send it back to me, and I either incorporate their comments or I don't incorporate their comments and I move on. Same thing with Lorraine. Lorraine needs to write something up for us in town. She'll write something up, she'll say any comments, we'll give her our comments, she'll either use them or she won't, and we, we move on. So that's kind of how the, the town hall has traditionally worked. And with policies, prior to you guys being a policy committee for the last two years, I did a write a lot of writing up of policies I can as well. And it was kind of the same thing. I write up the policy, incorporating what I thought were the ideas that were wanted. I would pass it out to a couple of people for proofreading and for comments if they had any. And then I would either, you know, oh, that kind of makes good sense, or no, it's really not kind of what I think people wanted to do. Um, any grammar and so forth that anyone else caught, I would, of course, correct. And then I would bring it forward to the rest of the board and read some of So I just, I think it's a difference. So with Lorraine, when she's reading for these policies, it is very new to think that there would be somebody not in the town hall immediately that she would go to to say, what did, let's change this. She's the secretary for our board. She gets it in an email form. She pops it in the board. She changes the wording and she says so. And that's really just how traditional things have worked. Um, so I, I don't want any people slighted or feel like they were not being respected. It was really simply a kind of a perfect storm of not how the town hall has ever functioned before. And from my own experience of being on a committee that is dealing with incredibly deep human language, not wanting to bother people with going back and asking them to look at something again. Um, but now that I understand that that's what you wanted, and that will not be a irritation, we can make that happen. Are the lines going to sign a contract every week? No. So will there be a somewhere in the kitchen a set of rules that everyone needs? Yes. We will post the kitchen yeah, rules. Yep. And they have like you know, remember we didn't know if they were going to be here, if they were going to be posted. Yeah. They'll be both places. Okay. So they'll be in the contract with people side. They'll also and we've always had some kitchen rules in the kitchen, they were lying flat on the counter. Um <laughs> and so they probably went out with the trash. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so we'll make sure that they get posted up with kind of probably in the same area with kind of like the stove, which is always makes me really nervous. So we the people in there, but um Having lost my eyebrows once, you know, it was not <laughs> <laughs> yes. um, That was a bad day. Um, and you, uh, so the kitchen rules will be posted up, and we talked about it. And Lorraine and Jennifer together will be in charge of checking the town hall on Tuesday morning after, because it's usually on the weekend, so it's the town hall. Check the town hall on Tuesday morning to determine if it's in correct shape. No, you have the lions and then a shower. Who are you going to play? The shower. Absolutely. <laughs> well, the lines are history. The lines are Honestly, we do have history. I'm a line. So I, I feel like we, you know, we do make sure that we take care of the quality. We feel it's in our best interest to do yeah. so. Um, and I can't, I don't think that there's been a time where I've had anyone ever come to us and complain, you know, you left such a session kitchen or so forth. So, um, yes, Michelle. <laughs> Did you ever see the <coughs> email I sent back to Jennifer at the board this morning on our suggestion? Yes, about the um, we talked about that on the contract. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I honestly, what can I see the final copy? What do we have? Do you have the contract on there? But do we yeah. have? So we we. I don't have um, that contract. I didn't know. We'll take a look at it. Um, well, this was the signing copy. Okay. So um, this was when there was an exhibit A. Right, so we okay, can't mention it. And that's when they would sign. Yeah. So since it doesn't appear anywhere on here, you didn't see the email. Okay, what they said was, I think maybe down here, I don't get where it is, but I think somewhere in here we need to refer to this, what do you call it, contract or agreement. Doesn't it, doesn't it say somewhere in there that the contract no. will be signed by no. and who has to sign it? Oh, and who's that other the responsible part? And just the responsible part, how do you have to be the agent? Yeah, there's one. Yeah. So the agent must have at least one responsible adult president of all times. Yeah. Being president of all times, would that also mean that 
the contract has to be signed by. Uh, it has to be in line with the specimen. I mean, by the uh, yeah, laws. Right. So I'm just saying somewhere in here, and, and maybe they would need to put it there, all uses of charge of security costs within $50 and required to. Well, so she said for the contract, these names are going to change and put it in. On the contract, they are gone, and then the contract language is put in here. So I have to sign all over the lot. And we get out of this their name, their address, their phone number, um, so that we know kind of what that means. I'm just saying, again, I require to sign the use of you. I think the laws and laws are somewhere right there. But I think. We need to, if the same policy is that we use here, one of the key pieces is the key. And acknowledging the responsibility to take care of the place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, if you give a key to everybody who wants to have a shower or a party, you know, but you do, know, right? I know you do. We do. They say they don't make a copy, and by the end of the oh, <laughs> And if we're doing their work day, then you have people over here doing their daily work, so they don't need to get a key, right? Well, to be quite fair, everyone that probably does have a key in town hall. I mean, that is just the truth. If you ever were on a committee, you probably would have a key in the town hall. Um, well, if you were this chair of the committee, it is kind of a joke. We are constantly making new keys for the town hall because we pass it up and they don't come back. It's, it's a public building. We trust and hope the best. Um, and we haven't had any time successful. I think also it's important for people to be here in the evening when you go and you leave at night. You know, we pack up the building. If it's really because of a business day, then you know, there are people here working, you know, check the building off the building when they go home. So if you're only here for the morning for breakfast or something, you don't need to eat. You know, you can other people when you work. Of this sentence, which is, which has been more important? The security deposit or the if I had to pick, I'd say the agreement. Then that should be first. Somebody? I do. Oh. <laughs> because on a long sentence, people skip. All users are required to sign a user agreement, and then you know. And you also have to give a $50 product. Um, the most important should go first because people long the sentences they don't really want to do. Do you guys want to come up with a, we had talked about just a simple change that I think that Jennifer probably cleaned up that we had back on Thursday. Yeah. Um, with the spelling out of the bottom for a spotman. Um, yeah, two hours a day. Two hours a day, and then the other ones we weren't going to change. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. mm -hmm. Didn't you want <coughs> that sentence up here? It said in the first paragraph, so I'm assuming that's what it meant. That is it. Least in the first paragraph in the second part of the paper. The last paragraph, just the last paragraph. Change the first sentence. Oh, that's true. Oh, no, here it says last paragraph, first sentence. Right, but under fees, I mean, the first sentence the in last the last paragraph. paragraph. Okay. I didn't say that earlier. <coughs> Is there a better question? I, I think someone will definitely read the fees back. Yeah. <laughs> the other place would be up to the policy. Well, this is all kind of. It doesn't have anything to do with fees, so hopefully it should not be in fees. Well, yeah, then it could be in mind, and you're probably going to be able to get a point here, but yeah, I'll keep it in. The sign will be, it should be in there. Okay. 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 Do you want to decide for your, you know, as a committee, what you would you like to wear, what language you'd like to have, and, and where you'd like to be, and then send it for us to look at for to include this the uh, signing of the contract requirement to the Is it going to be called the contract or is it just a usage agreement? 
What does it say on it? Hopefully you use it to it. We're not involved in toilets. I mean, there's, let me ask you, I mean, Elaine had given us um, contracts for three different municipalities. There was one of them where there were, at the end, maybe three and a half lines of uh, some definitive language. It basically said, yes, I've read all of this, I understand it, and I accept responsibility for it. So I, that's basically I just want to make sure that that's the only piece that you took, you didn't, you didn't use the entire contract. No, just that. Okay. So it's just basically an understanding and agreement. I would take the last piece. Let's, I wouldn't call, I wouldn't use the term contract unless I had a multiple page legal document. Yeah, I can't yeah, just do it. That's fine. Are there other clauses and questions for me about? Um, um, yeah, the other two that we're going to, that we have on the quest for the final
Maybe two sentences. How about yeah. all of it's required to have. No. Users are required to sign a usage agreement with every benefit. You signed a usage agreement, and you 
Well, we mentioned representing the people. When we say that down here, the facility user must have at least one responsible adult present at all times. Right? Should that not be first or like that? Yeah, that has be. nothing to do with science. And it may not be. Right, but it can't be minor by law. So we don't need to. Okay. Actually, they only have to be 18 or something like that. They don't have to. Before that, 
you think it should be before? I do believe it should be, but... So when they, when they move to select a civic law, then it becomes... I think it should be seven. Oh, serious. I know, I know. Whether you call it the policy, it's not what it used to be, because they're saying that they could determine it. Mm-hmm. It should be. Yeah. It should be. Thank you. 
even if some of the signs away and see it. The usage agreement needs to be signed by every law law each month. Something to that effect. On an annual basis. For those who need to. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
not in those exact words, but I think that's the intent that's yeah. going to be you know, you draw that inference. You know, but I certainly understand you know, to me because that would fall definitely under the kitchen. No, we have any weird dishes. Yeah. 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 Nope, it doesn't say what you would think. Same kitchen floor, stove, and countertops. It doesn't say kitchen is too local. When you leave, yeah. like it did when you come in. Yeah. Well, on kitchen rules, three where it says clean the kitchen floor, stove, countertops, why would we just put dishes and pots and pans? It's too weird. Clean all kitchen, you clean all used kitchenware. Yeah. On the kitchen floors, on the stove and countertops. Yeah. Yeah. All used. Is that the right way? Kitchen. Sure. Yeah. Is that the right way? So is that one word? So like dinnerware. Yeah. Yeah. One word. Yeah. yeah. Are we going to call it the usage of No. <laughs> I'm sorry I said that. No, no, you got the record yet. I'll open it. I'll talk to you. You can get in the policy. Yeah. It's going to say the usage of the Yeah, you don't need the capital A. You said it use the town hall policy? No, it's in the departure now. So if you read that, it says responsible This is usage agreement. So you can take a policy and you can use it. You can use it. And then there was going to be no sense that it says conditions in there. A representative of the event is required to sign a right. usage agreement. Right. A right. usage agreement. Yeah. 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 But this is not going to change. No, the right. title of the document does not change. Okay. It's also white. I didn't see that. That's all? No. Probably. All right, we won't discuss that before the time. What was that, 235? At least nine years later. Are we finished with this one? God, I hope so. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Wow. Well, this one. Amen. Okay. Maybe we can do it with some food. Okay. Boy, wait to get started on the internet policy. Okay. How about the um, new one with the new dishonored check policy draft dated one nine two thousand twelve? And the 23 points draft one in 2012. Any changes? Yes. Did you no, you made the change that we talked about last week. Did we on um, the motor vehicle registration? Yes. Yeah. Um, that was it. That's the date. I thought that was pretty good. Yeah. Did you come up with anything else? Any other ideas? I will um, try to get a new copy of the dishonored check notice since we're trying to mark this one to attach to this. Okay, so we'll all have a copy of it? Yes, you will. Okay. Um, can we file this away? And then the appointment, the appointments. The only change we had from our last meeting was in the third paragraph in the B, the appointment. Okay. I guess on the phone, or you sent me an email, Virginia, asking me to correct that because it falls under the appointment, but the, uh, in the last line it said consideration in the appointment process. And she not changed to the appointment process. Okay. That's okay. Any other one that's taken the essence off of the two minutes in the title? Mm -hmm. Here. Yeah. 
And that would be in the change schedule. So is that done? Okay. So do we think this red line issue is going away? Uh, did, you, did you print out the one I just sent to you? When did you send it? It was yes. at 4 o'clock, I didn't. Not today. No. I sent it yesterday on the 9th. That's this one. And then, did you get the email I sent to you today? And I said, oh, I did. I did. Oh, check my email. Oh, all right. So I sent you an email sometime this afternoon. And I said, the red line email. It wasn't on the other one, but it only appeared on this one. And it was only the change I right made yesterday. So, every time you go in and you make any change at all, we have to go back and then go through this whole process to get all of them. Can you just shut down the red line functions? No. 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 You and you know, that's a scary thing when you think of it. Because it talks about when you go into the help screen, it talks about doing your resume, and you have all these terms, and you do it with the red line, blah, 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 and you think you're sending it off to a lawyer. <laughs> All of the things that you thought you shouldn't put in there. <laughs> uh, and you end up sending a you potential really, employer a draft resume? Yes. And, you really, and it says has all the stuff that you decided that they shouldn't know about you. You're not looking for a job, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, this, it's this whole huge room that we have to go through to get it to be a final. Um, yes, yeah, system is just much too sophisticated. No, mine is old. Mine is like mine is two, word two thousand three. I'm using ninety seven. That's what it says. It's the most user friendly of the best. Oh, we do have to move your email addresses. Every time I send something to Deb Casey at Hotmail, it comes to that. Deb underscore Casey. As I sent it to you today, they both came back. The ones I sent back, the ones I sent uh, last week, I sent you last week. They did. What is the purpose of that in school? Just to separate the first thing from the last thing. Well, who decides that they will be in the school then? You do when you create the name. Or over calls. I would use a dot. I have one with a dot. Somebody got into my password or something, so I had to Actually, why do you even need it? Wait, why can't you just run it together, get case? Or you just separate them, you know, like the space, space, space. I know, when people forget to insert that, they'll not. I've done about going to the dot rather than the reenters where I'm getting so much junk mail, I figured I'd just. Five things to the underscore and email. Anyway, so we've been told cured. Okay. We have the emails here. Steve's emails. Yeah, well, what? The neighbor across the street tried to email something to me and I couldn't get the email. Steve had to email. Did this only draft? Uh, that's the one we got yesterday. And it has the red line. But I have to read with that. Well, this goes back to a policy done in 2005, so it 
might be a fair amount of refreshing. The, uh, the first thing I do is the first sentence in the second paragraph. Nothing about the fact that the first paragraph is all one sentence? No, it's your sentence. You're the grammar specialist. Yeah, I've been around the problem. It's 
said that it was you. We have a part in there that, that they can use it for different things. Yeah, because people are going to use it anyhow. Oh, they can now. But it's what they use it for. Right. That you don't want anything now to reflect on the time. That's right. Okay. Do we need to close your arm in the dental person? I think in the first part, do that. Because they did say it's defined. I mean, you know, we're using it. Well, shouldn't that go first? You don't want to define it after you've already said it. Well, now they're not defining it. Probably again, says in quotations, incidental person use is defined as used by an individual employee's occasion. You can go with close to that one, too. I have, I have written a note saying incidental personal use of time computers is permitted as long as such use um, would not interfere with employees' job duties and performances or with system operations on others on other users. Yeah, if you come in after hours and turn off Pandora, it's on solar system down. So it will interfere with someone else's job. If, if they're there working? Right. If you and I you come in after all this work right. and you turn on. You turn on a screen. Yeah. Right. And that would interfere with someone else working on the on the computer system because it would slow it down for them. Do we need to say exactly what they can do on the personal time? Well, that's where you get into these problems over here. <clears throat> it says, you know, these are kind of, any, like what really bothers me is any attempt to access unauthorized sites. Do they have a list of unauthorized sites that you know you're not going to be able to access? Or if you go to one, I mean, that, there's, there's some problems here. It could be pages of that. Yeah. So and then needs. tomorrow we're going to have some kind of update because there's 10,000 more sites that you should be on. Um, I mean, I don't take any issue with the fact that you email yeah. or some of those, but I don't think you should be sitting there at any time doing Facebook. Well, we should that definitely that should have something in there. Is that reasonable? Yeah. Well, that's perfect. Why is Facebook any less personal than your email? Until your email goes directly to you. A Facebook, a Facebook posting gets posted on, you have no idea how many people in your office it gets posted on. And how many people are going to, oh, who's this from? Or, you know, they put those little things in a junk email or whatever, you know, putting other words in there. Oh, you mean for receiving emails? Right. For them to well, I guess that opens up a whole question about the security set up. Yeah, I don't know. I would think that it might be useful. Who takes care of the computer school? I think they use a lot of sites that are good. Or is it someone from the school? Computer classroom school? I don't know. I mean, there's no policy in here about changing passwords periodically or sharing. So you think, is that something that you think should, should definitely be in there? Most companies have to like that. So but after it expires every year. Three days. Yeah. Yes, and law firms more often. Right. I'm not sure if that's something that's enforced to the network or what. You know, the companies I work for are very up to you now. They, they asked you to do it. They never really said a cop over which you did. Oh, I was a force. Well, yeah, you can't sign on anymore. Yeah. Yeah, because it's they wanted it, and you did anyway. Uh -huh. yeah. So you don't have to help us for something. You know, no. No oversight of the book. Right. Yeah. That was very painful. They must have to change the book. 
because I had like 25 passwords and they all expired in the same day. Uh, you can't get them to change in a different thing? I don't know if I want to. It gives me a good four hour clock to sit there and change my password. Do you make them all different? I try not to. Make them as close as possible. Especially if they say you can use the same one over there. It's like, you know, I'm using one to you. Um, so we took, so we have a note there. So, so she, she has something about password, um, changing password periodically. One certain years Well, they should do a sign on the current. I assume they have to use our password. That's the right assumption. I don't know about that. So. Yeah. 